in this video we're going to uh, take this MacBook Pro and remove the hard drive from it and we're going to insert the hard drive into our Donix right protected USB 3 drive and then live boot the MacBook with Forensic Explorer live boot. So the first step is to take out the hard drive. Now when we connect the drive to our computer, the first thing worth checking is to go to Windows Disk Management and make sure the physical drive is showing in Windows Disk Management. We can see here that Disk 4 is the HFS uh, drive, which is why it's not allocated a drive letter under Windows. So everything looks good there. Now we go to Forensic Explorer and start a new case. We'll call this Mac live boot a physical disk and because we're adding a physical device we need to click the add device button and then look for our uh, right protected device and there it is hard disk 4 identified as the Adonix uh, USB 3 so we select that drive and click the OK button to add a Forensic Explorer and just go through the evidence processor to start adding the file system. Once the file system is added, we can then change to the file system module. And it's always useful here to expand the tree on the left hand side just to make sure we've got a good structure and also uh, check the data on the right side to make sure everything's reading from the drive correctly. You can also go into gallery view and uh, preview some pictures just to make sure the data is showing up without any problems. And everything looks good. So now we click on the live boot button in the file system module toolbar. Now the live boot window should automatically detect that it's a bootable Mac HFS file system and here you can see it's a Mac uh, OS X 10.12 Sierra X64. It's also important that we're using VirtualBox. The latest version of VirtualBox should be installed. Live booting a Mac will not work with VMware so you must use VirtualBox. Just make sure you've got uh, boot VirtualBox using and the VirtualBox setting selected. Now we know that this uh, Mac computer has a user account and the user account is password protected. So we're going to use a method to bypass the user account and this referred to as booting in single user mode. So go into the advanced tab of the options and put a tick in the box for Start Mac OS X in single user mode. Once you've done that, click the launch button to launch the virtual machine. 
So down in the bottom right hand corner in the progress area, you'll see uh, the progress of the live boot. If you have your Mount Image Pro uh, software open, you'll also see that Mount Image Pro is mounting and unmounting the drives required for the live boot. Then you'll see um, VirtualBox launch. Now what we're doing when we're going into single user mode is getting essentially into the uh, Mac command console. Now there are certain commands here that we're going to type in to allow us to bypass the user password. And the technique is to essentially to make the Mac think that this is the first time it's been started. We're going to create our own administrator account and then use that to change the existing administrator account. Now the easiest way to do that is if you open up the help file and go to page 385, you'll see instructions to do this. But you'll also see the two commands that you need to type into the uh, command console. So we're going to type those in now. So the first one is mount minus uv space forward slash. And the second command here is a remove command. So rm space slash var slash db dot apple setup done. Now I've managed to enter it in twice here the wrong way, so third time lucky. rm space slash var slash db slash dot apple setup done and when you hit enter you should go back to the root uh, command everything looks good there so we can type exit to continue You can see uh, in VirtualBox when the virtual machine is active, there's the disk light in the system tray. If that disk light is flashing, uh, everything looks good. There is a delay here of several minutes waiting for the virtual machine to launch. So once we launch, our single mode puts us into uh, the Macintosh thinking that this is the first time the Macintosh has been set up. So we go to the Mac welcome screen and then we step through the setup procedure. Eventually we get to the point where we can create our new administrator account. I've entered test here as the uh, administrator name, created my own password, and then click continue to continue setting up that new administrator account.
Now we've uh, stepped through setting up the new accounts and we reach the point where you identify the keyboard to the virtual machine. And once you've done that, you're presented with the Mac uh, desktop. Click on the settings button, which is usually about the third icon from the right hand side in the Macintosh tray. And that will open the system preferences window. And usually in the bottom left hand corner is the users and groups icon. Now you go in here and in the bottom left hand corner of that screen there's a padlock. Click on that padlock to unlock it as you've seen me do there now. And now you've got access to change other user accounts on the system. The Tony account is the one that I'm interested in so I've clicked on Tony. I've gone to the change password button and I've typed in the new password for the Tony account. Once I've done that, we can go back to the uh, padlock and re-padlock the user account access, close down the uh, system preferences, and now we can log out of our uh, test administrator account. So now that we've logged out, you can see on the Mac login screen, we've got our test account as well as our Tony account. And now I can click on the Tony account and use the password that I just created for the Tony account to log in. You'll see a, uh, a window asking about the keychain. It's best to select to create a new keychain here, otherwise you'll be prompted continuously. You can read about keychains on the Macintosh help site. Now we're into the desktop of the user. So we're now looking at uh, the user Tony's desktop. For example, we can go and open the uh, trash can, the Macintosh trash can here, and examine the files that the user Tony had in the trash can. To log out of the Tony account, Go up to the uh, Macintosh icon in the top left hand corner and you'll find the options to log out or shut down.